So uh -huh. that's your normal service position. Uh -huh. We put one ball literally halfway between the heel and the toe of your shoe. Okay. Second ball just behind the heel. And then the third ball about half a foot behind your heel. So we have th three distinct positions here mm -hmm. to work on that. So I'm going to take the racket out of right. your hand right. and you're just going to go back and pick up the first ball and hand it to me. Okay. So he goes down and picks up. One thing that we want to do, and I'll put that back down so okay. we can work through this. We want to try to keep the chest upright as much okay. as we can. So don't do this. Exactly. Don't All bend right. at the back. All right. So I'm like this as much exactly. as I can be. Okay. And then the second component here is to try to really emphasize twisting at the hip. Okay. So twist. Exactly. Is that twist at the hip? Perfect. Try to keep that head up as much okay. as we can. And the toughest one is the third one because we have to get back down there. Good. So as you can see, the first one's relatively straightforward. Mm -hmm. It gets more challenging. Yep. If you can comfortably do that, go through that progression two or three times, okay. then we progress to then strawing, but then starting to release the energy. So the next progression, same type of position, but now we're going to go down and when we pick up, what our objective is here is to get into a throwing motion. So okay. we're going to go down, pick up, and then get from here into our sort of trophy position. And then when we throw, we're going to do a tennis throw, which is a little bit different, where we get this shoulder over shoulder position. Okay, okay. So down here, and then I'm going to throw, just to demo it slowly, like this. Mm -hmm. Maybe more than this, which is more of a baseball throw. Correct. Okay, so I want the shoulder coming over more. Because a really good example, a baseball throw, what will happen is when you throw, you will over-rotate early. Okay. And that's why it's a big misconception that just going out and throwing is going to directly impact your serve. You want to make sure that you do a tennis-specific serve throw. Okay. Well, let me try it and tell me if I'm doing it right. Like that. That's a re really good start. What we want to try to emphasize is keeping that front shoulder forward as long as possible. Okay, so even more than even what more. I did. Yeah, over-exaggerated. Right. All right, all right, all right. Good. So it looks a little funky. It looks a little different because what we're cool. trying to do look cool doing is it. trying to do a cartwheel or shoulder over shoulder position. All right. Okay, got it. Yep. Drop down, chest up. There we go. Nice. And you popped out of it perfectly. Okay. Really, really good attempt. So that's that series of progressions. Mm -hmm. Now the next series is we're actually going to pick up the racket. And I call this the elephant drill because you'll see in a second why. So what we'll do oh. is you'll start with a ball right. and you'll over-exaggerate here this movement like an elephant trunk. It goes back and you rotate as far as you can into that back leg and then you hit a serve. So this is not a Am real Am I trying motion. to come down real low? Exactly. Okay. Trying to come down lower than normal just to get the feeling. Over-exaggerate it. Good. And the first couple of times people do this, they sometimes struggle with contact, and that's okay because this the we're toss, not. The toss, it kind of throws exactly. it off. Exactly. The toss gets over exaggerated. It's not a real service motion, it's a hip involvement exercise. We're trying to really activate that back hip and work on that twist rotation. Should I try and really sit into exactly. it? Exactly. Okay. So go as low as you can, go as back as, as far as you can, and try to really over exaggerate that hip turn. And once you hit three, four, five serves like that, then go back to your normal motion. So he's working on exaggerating it. Now when we say, okay, well, let's focus on your regular, regular service motion, motion and see how that feels. Yeah, it's one of those where you like get to take, hit one or two to kind of transition exactly. out of it a little bit. So what our objective here with this serve is really to get the body to f understand that our goal is to really shift into that back leg, focus on emphasizing how important it is to twist rotate, not just drop down into a squat or knee bend position, and then be able to shift out of that and transition into an optimum serving position. And this is going to be one that you're going to feel instantly. If you're watching this video right now and you shadow your swing and you realize I'm, you know, I'm coming straight down. Maybe the weight's a little bit more equally distributed versus really 
not only getting that twist, but when you twist back like that, you can feel the weight getting loaded up on that. I mean, I could feel it really getting loaded up. So if this is something you shadow right now, you're going you're gonna to notice the difference if, if this is a power killer you're, you're uh, suffering from. Power killer. I want to show you how to develop a truly dominant serve because it all comes down to one thing, the kinetic chain. You see, the kinetic chain is the key to taking your serve speed from where it is right